It's, it's so tough, like you said, sacrifices. That's a really big word um, for basically what I've been through. I sacrificed so much, um, especially my parents actually. Um, moving to the USA at such a young age and um, just kind of figuring out, you know, like the US itself and then trying to figure out the game of basketball. It came so fast. My older brother started playing and I kind of, you know, took on his kind of role and um, I kind of wanted to play because he was playing. And then it was it ended up being like, you know, bonded by blood and basketball. And that was like the biggest thing for us, um, the three of us, um, my siblings and I. And so with that, um, I just had to sacrifice so much as a kid, um, missing proms or having graduation the same day as a, a basketball game and trying to figure out like, what are you gonna do? Like, how do I get here? How do I get here? And trying to figure out how you can do two things at once or three or four or five and trying to figure out like, okay, how do I still maintain these relationships with my friends and try to explain to them like, okay, maybe I can't hang out with you tonight. Not because I don't want to, but because I have practice or I have to work on my game. And so just sacrifices in so many ways, whether that's sacrificing because of like friendships um, even like family ties you know your family has to be really un understanding and they have to sacrifice too their time their support their energy their love and you know kind of learning the game um, my mom especially because um, I always laugh at her how she's so into the game of basketball now and she watches it so much but she knew nothing about it when we first started and so just like that you know the sacrifices you know helping to teach her the game and help and her helping me and coming to support me and and be my biggest supporter along with the rest of my family members. Just so grateful to Coach Pokey, you know, for drafting me here last year. Um, it was indescribable. Honestly, that was the best year of my life. That's what I say all the time. I remember watching the draft from home and like my mom was like getting all teary-eyed. Everyone in the house is yelling. And then like actually living out that dream, going through training camp. And I'm like, I used to come to Banker's Life. I played Indian All-Stars here. I played Big Ten tournaments here. And now I'm here like actually playing in the fever jersey that I grew up watching catch playing. And so then everything just coming full circle. I remember going to like these little events where Kitch would speak and I'd be so amazed. And you know, I actually found a picture um, one day from my Facebook memories and it was Kitch and I and my AAU teammates. And I was just like sitting, sitting somewhere in like Banker's Life and having like a, t a chat or something. And I was just like, wow, that's full circle. Like now Kitch and I have like one-on-one -on -one talks like at my job. <laughs> and it's just so crazy. It's such a blessing. And, um, when I was overseas, I just sat down and I like I broke down. Actually, I started crying and I was like, wow, like this is what I prayed for. Like, I've prayed for this so many times. I worked for this and it's here. Like it's it's just right in front of me. Like I'm actually living what I prayed for. Like I asked God about this. Like I, I worked for this. I, I did this, that, and the third, and it's here. Like I'm overseas, I'm playing. I'm in the WNBA, I'm playing. I'm in my home city and I'm playing. It'd be easier to almost answer why it's not special <laughs> because it's special in so many ways. Just like the bond and the relationships that I've built through basketball, um, the sisters for life that I have, the coaches that would do anything for me, um, the, the staff, the GMs, anywhere you go, whether that's overseas, whether that's in the States, just all these different relationships that you can have and you can build. And then the networking aspect, just you go from basketball player to, oh, okay, you know, my cousin does this and she can help you with this or this, that, and the other. And you meet so many people and just the people that you can reach out to, the people that you can impact. I love having an impact on young girls uh, because I had that for me growing up, you know, getting to see other people grow and, um, you know, kind of aspiring to be like these powerful women and kind of just, you know, wanting to be powerful myself one day. And so now that I have girls looking up to me saying, you know, they want to be like me one day, I just kind of love it and so these are all the reasons why I play and it's all for love.